Hello there, so today we are reviewing this uh, Ubiquiti Edge Switch 24. So I had a little bit of problems getting it to work on DHCP, so I've already upgraded the firmware, and now I can log on onto the web interface, hopefully. Uh, the username and password is UBNT, is the default username and password, so obviously the first thing I'm going to do is change that. And don't forget, obviously, if you're not familiar with um, playing with switches, you've got to save the configuration, otherwise you're not going to get very far. Now, uh, let's see if we can, because I'm not very familiar with these switches, let's see if we can sort the username and password out. Uh, so yeah, I went in here and upgraded the firmware already. So it seems to me that this version 1.0.1, DHCP just doesn't work. So I had to put in 192.168.1.2 as its IP. And obviously I changed the IP of my machine to be in the 192.168.1 range. I usually use 1.99. Okay, so we've got the fallback firmware if we need it. Uh, okay, let's see if we can uh, sort the user accounts out. So what I'm going to do is add an account. Uh, I'm not going to show you much of this because uh, you don't need to know. But I'll set that, and then obviously when I got the machine on site, I'll give it a fixed IP address. I normally use something in the high range, and that way when I want to find it and talk to it again, it's easy to find. I don't leave it on DHCP usually. Uh, the actual box itself is fine. I particularly like. I'll try and do another video showing you that, but it's, it's the cable is too short to pick it up and put it in front of the camera. But I quite like the way it doesn't have any uh, brackets that you have to screw in on the side. It has got a console port at the back if you need to use it. So, uh, yeah, that's great. Thanks very much for watching.